Project Mugen was announced over nine months ago. The announcement trailer received over 720,000 views on the PlayStation channel and several million across every major gaming channel combined. Some of the biggest names in the gotcha genre covered it myself included. And while I've never personally been of the opinion that this is going to be yet another Genshin killer, there's no denying at the same time that its main competition is definitely going to be both Genshin Impact and Wuthering Waves. Possibly even Azure Permelia, I'm seeing as Azure Permelia will probably release before this game does. <laughs> With millions of views split between thousands of different channels and more hype than almost any other gacha game right now, what happened? Are they still working on the game? Have they abandoned it like so many Asian games in the past? A couple weeks ago, I was tagged in a post by Wind Valley where he linked me to NetEase's 520 game conference on Billy Billy. The live stream happened on May 20th, and while there were dozens of games on display, there were four games in development not included. One, specifically being Project Mugen. This was evidently a cause for alarm for many interested players. Project Mugen is arguably one of NetEase's biggest gacha projects and could potentially rival the biggest gacha games out right now. Thankfully, another user named Emulti cleared this out by showing job listings on NetEase's official website as of May 28, 2024. Specifically, 2D special effect engineers and senior substance designers. This information alone confirms that the game isn't dead, that they haven't given up on it, but they have gone quiet. And given they're hiring new talent, it's likely that they've just hit a small speed bump due to the size and scale of the project and a lack of programmers to successfully complete it. When doing a search for Project Mugen Online, there were dozens of news websites all speculating on the release date. Like PC games who speculate the game will release within the next six months having undergone absolutely no testing whatsoever, while they're still actively hiring people to develop a largely unfinished game without a second trailer having even been released. This article from MSN states that it was posted just three days ago and goes on to claim earlier today, an official Twitter account for the game shared some official artwork. Yet the tweet in question, as you can see, was posted on August 17th, 2023. Also, can we just take a moment to laugh at the fact that they think Project Mugen looks like Genshin Impact? Nah, if there's a game that this looks like, it's Zenless Zone Zero, but even that's a bit of a stretch. Talk Android says that the game is launching sometime in late 2024. Pocket Tactics also says late 2024. I, I, I wonder, I genuinely wonder where they're getting all this information from. Are they all getting it from the same source? These blog posts were all made within roughly the last month and have absolutely no basis with which to even begin to formulate any type of estimate on a release date. They're, they're all like, herd, herd, the game is releasing except damn it 2024. Rather than doing any type of research into the state of the game, at present, journalism in 2024, but that's what I'm here for. Papa Sticks is here to take this shit to the next level. Before we delve any deeper into Project Mugen though, I wanna take a moment to thank my incredible patrons over on Patreon and my YouTube channel members who allow for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single week. You guys are phenomenal and I cannot thank you all enough for the support. Now I navigated on over to the official NetEase corporate website so I could investigate their quarterly financials since this is where companies typically tend to have listings pertaining to current and future game releases. It's how they keep their investors happy. Unfortunately, while there were plenty of games listed here, no mention of Mugen was made for 2024 anywhere, which obviously isn't proof that the game isn't releasing within 2024, but you'd think that this would be something they'd be using to garner additional investments if it were approaching a point where they could successfully monetize it. The last time the devs, Naked Rain, made any type of public comment was when they had a small interview in March 2024 where they discussed the game, its future, its features. Not a whole lot was divulged. I did do a dedicated video on this going over everything that they revealed and giving my opinions on it. I actually think I was the only person to do a dedicated video on this topic. While we're on the topic of the interview back in March, there were two questions that were asked 
that had very certain answers. Are you planning to have an open or closed beta test to get player feedback before a full release? To which they responded with, we need the player's feedback and the arrangements for subsequent testing are also being planned. A direct confirmation that testing will happen prior to the full release. We've heard absolutely nothing about any test phases yet, and typically there are multiple test phases before a game launches. Evidently, this is research none of the aforementioned websites did, even though this is their job. The second question, can we expect it to arrive later this year or will it get pushed into 2025? This had a much more vague answer, but it was clear they were not at all confident in a 2024 release, perhaps even a 2025 release, going on to state, our game is planned for a global cross-platform simultaneous release. There are some uncontrollable factors in the scheduling and any new developments will be communicated to the players. Evidently, every single one of these websites that speculated 2024 were talking out of their asses. There is no indication, absolutely none at all, that Project Mugen will be releasing in 2024. If you take their comment, about there being uncontrollable factors in the scheduling and their recent job listings, it's evident a 2025 release date might be off the table as well. But this is in no way a confirmation of either and is not at all entirely indicative of the state the game is currently in. So what happened to Project Mugen? Well, it ultimately turned out to be a larger undertaking than they had originally planned. They required a larger development team and have begun expanding to hopefully finalize the game at some point next year. They've been quiet because they've likely fallen behind schedule and have nothing to actually show players yet. At least nothing that would impress players. They're probably hard at work and will continue to be until their team is fully staffed. I have faith in Project Mugen and I, I genuinely do hope for the best. It's a hell of a game so far and they can really only improve from here. Also, before we end the video, we just appreciate that even without a second trailer, no confirmation thus far about beta tests, no release date in sight whatsoever, the game has still managed to accumulate over 5 million pre-registered players. Yeah, people are excited.